In the golden age of social media and the internet, it seems very unusual at times to even step out in person and meet individuals for business, business meetings, even business relationships. Today, I'm gonna teach you an extremely viable talent that everyone should know as a business owner, as a product owner, as a platform, a service, etc. Essentially, networking online is such an extremely useful tool because not only can you do it from the comfort of your own home, but you can also network with individuals that live extremely far away from you. And essentially, I know that many individuals can become very intimidated by it as it's, you know, online. You know, you never get to meet these individuals in person at times and maybe even it will be, you know, a few months down the road. But what I'm here to tell you today is that it is an easy way to collaborate with individuals and also an easy way to connect with people that you least expect. So today I'm going to teach you how to network with individuals and network with other businesses online. So if you're new here, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can keep updated on all of our tips and tricks and all of our other marketing strategies. And of course, I hope that you tune on into all of our other videos and all of our other platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, our website, social media, etc. So let's dive right on in into this video. The first tip I'm going to give you is to stay active on social media. When you're active on social media, it shows that you are constantly available and not in a bad way, in a good way, in a sense that if someone wants to reach out to you, you'll respond because you're active and they see that. So they're going to more likely to reach out to you because you know, you're constantly posting you're constantly building your brand. Not only does that show consistency, it shows professionalism in the realm of social media, especially if you're trying to you know, get your business off the ground, get your product off the, brand, the ground. This is showing professionalism. And if someone wants to work with you, they're gonna be more inclined to do so because of your consistency and your commitment to your brand and to what you have to offer to the table. Either way, I definitely encourage you to be active on social media. And let's say that maybe you feel that you don't have enough time to run a social media account, then hire an intern. You know, try to even find, maybe if it's too much to pay someone, try someone that's in high school or even trying to, you know, raise their volunteer hours and, you know, making it, you know, of course, a very maintainable environment and a friendly environment so that they can work on it, you know, and build their own resume. But definitely look into that if you feel that like you don't have time. So number two is going to be to make the first move reach out to another business and reach out to another influencer. When you're trying to network online, there are other businesses that are also basically remote and also influencers that manage their whole entire life and job on social media. So I urge you that, you know, don't focus on someone's numbers or, you know, amount of followers or likes, just try to reach out to someone and see what happens. You'd be really surprised. And what if they respond? Not only do you have a new connection, but let's say you're trying to launch your product or business. Again, an influencer repost it and it can take your page completely to a drastic world in overnight. So don't be shy. Reach out to the influencer, reach out to the brand and see what happens. I mean, honestly, just stepping out of your comfort zone at times can lead to new experiences and new connections in the realm of social media that can lead to new business opportunities. So making sure that you are stepping out of your comfort zone and truly just letting yourself, again, take that next step and definitely start networking with other people. The third one is going to be swap coffee dates for a video date. And I know this sounds cheesy, but it's true. I mean, how many different people can you connect with just through a Zoom call? And essentially, you know, there's so many people that line up on social media that it's hard sometimes to put a name to a face, put a personality to a page and to a character. But what I'm here to tell you today is that make that Zoom call. Get on LinkedIn, see who your connections are, try to schedule Zoom calls with people in your field and individuals that you feel that are in the place that you strive to be at and see how they got there. You know, get that Zoom meeting and really try to reach out. I really encourage it and I really hope that you truly 
put yourself out there. I know that it's hard and I know that it's scary, but the other person is most likely just as nervous as you are. So definitely just give it a try and see what happens. But definitely zoom dates are the way to go in 2022 and there's been so many zoom dates i mean so many interviews now are even on zoom so practicing your zooming skills practicing your socialization on the internet is so important so if you haven't practiced already get on it and really really put yourself out there and try to see if zoom dates are for you number four is attend virtual meetings slash conventions there are so many different virtual meetings and conventions out there you just have to look and essentially there's some for every single field i mean even if you're in a, phot a photographer if you're an artist if you're a teacher if you're you know a new small business there's so many conventions out there there's so many online meetings that if you join you'll find people that you can get advice from you can relate to and you can also just chat with and maybe even you know grow a network that way i mean even after these conventions many times individuals will start facebook groups and group chats and people will just be helping each other out and connecting with you know different people but definitely when you're joining these networks and these different virtual conventions it's really helpful to really get out there and meet new people and again you don't need to travel for this stuff you can literally just sit at your home in front of your computer and that is the luxury of it so if you haven't done so already please do that. I've done a few myself and I've enjoyed every single one and I've been able to connect with people in virtually and then that led to us connecting in person. So at the end of the day, a connection is a connection, especially if you're trying to network online, I would highly recommend it. Last one, as simple as this sentence sounds, is follow up with your clientele, with the people that you're networking with, with the individuals that you grab that Zoom day with, those individuals that you met at that networking convention, the influencer, the business that reach out to you, follow up because follow up, when you're following up with individuals, it's showing consistency, it's showing trustworthiness, and it's showing that you're actually interested in what they have to say and what their advice is, and of course their feedback and follow up depending on what email or you know phone call or text that you sent or dm just definitely putting yourself out there and following up and really just showing them like hey i'm still interested remember when we talked about this remember when we did this zoom meeting so don't be shy just get out there and really just reach out to people and follow up with your conversations but anyways thank you so much for watching i know that networking online can be intimidating and can be a little scary sometimes but i'm here to tell you that i want to encourage you to gen genuinely get online and make those connections that you've been wanting to make. You can have the possibility to meet so many individuals that are like-minded and are also running the same kind of business as you are. So if you really just put yourself out there, you know, make a Zoom date with maybe even your favorite small business and see how they got to where they are and, you know, with growth and stuff like that, but I highly recommend it. So again, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and I really hope that you check out all of our other social media channels, such as Instagram, TikTok, our website, and many more. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and maybe even give me an example of the time that you've networked online and that you made a connection online that turned into a relationship in person. Thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing day.